Hi, so I finished the salad dressing. Um, I've used a half a teaspoon of each of the vinegars. Um, and I did use the balsamic vinegar in the end. I checked the label and it doesn't have sugar in it. So I'm actually quite happy <laughs> to be wrong about that. And um, yeah, so I've used those plus, um, this is for my husband and me. So I've used two teaspoons of olive oil. So I'll have one and about 130 grams of the plain yogurt. And I've salt and peppered it to taste. So I'll show you what I mean. Yes, so it's nice and creamy. I think it's about the right amount um, for the salad that we're having. And the salad that we're having, again, it takes the idea um, of the rainbow, uh, and this time we're applying it to, uh, to more vegetables, um, particularly that we're going to eat raw. So for the red in this mix, we've got beetroot. Um, for the orange, we've got carrot. For the yellow, we've got daikon radish. Um, for the green, we've got kale plus cabbage and celery, which are on the lighter green spectrum. And then for the purple, um, I, there's actually not red cabbage in this. So I'm going to add some purple cabbage to this. Yes, so I've got my purple cabbage to add to that. Um, I do love these salad mixes because they save me a lot of cutting up or getting up the food processor. This particular one doesn't have dressing, so that's fine. Um, I think of thinking of vegetables as everything that happens prior to the plant trying to reproduce. So... Um, from the roots but beneath the soil surface to the stems and the leaves and the flowers um, and all of that I'd consider vegetable. So we've got our beautiful vegetable mix here. Um, now I'm also taking the rainbow theory to the max not just in terms of the vegetable and the raw vegetable colors in this but I also am thinking of including a category about the seeds of the plants so nuts and seeds Sometimes we think of them as grains, um, sometimes just spices. Um, so I've, I've also got some seeds in various colors of the rainbow that I'm going to be putting into this salad. So I'll show you those. Um, yeah, so for my red, I've got flax seed. The yellow is mustard seed. Um, and then for the green, I've got some pepitas. Oh, I skipped orange. Orange, I'm putting some almonds in. And then for the blue to black spectrum, I'm using black sesame seeds. Now, I'm quite lucky because I have a cupboard full of beautiful seeds and spices that and nuts that we, we tend to refill every Christmas. So I've got plenty to choose from at the moment. And um, yeah, this will add some more fiber. To the salad which is good for the gut biome and I'm hoping that the different colors will work. I've used um, so between my husband and I will be having five grams of each of the small seeds so the flax seeds and the mustard seeds and the sesame black sesame seeds there's a total of 15 grams of that one and then for the pepitas I've done 10 grams because they're a bit larger. And for the almonds, I've done 20 grams total. So that's, you have to be careful with seeds and nuts because they do have quite a lot of calories. But I just read that like something like 30% of the calories don't even register because of all the fiber involved in nuts and seeds. So yeah, um, we'll see how we go. But to make the salad, I'm going to add the small seeds first. So I'll add those in because then those will just mix in with my dressing nicely um, and that way they're a bit more evenly distributed um, and then I might get the I'll get the I'll put in the vegetables and the nuts um, I'll pause here and get back to you so I've put just under half the salad on my plate and I've topped it with the larger nuts and seeds um, so I could distribute those um, a bit evenly. 
Um, he, my husband has a, a few more seeds and he's got seven nuts. I've got six here, so that's fine. And I've paired this with um, just over 100 grams of um, just boiled chicken breast. Or actually, I think it's maybe pan pan poached or something. My husband made it, but I know he made it without oil because he actually made it for a special diet person on staff that he was thinking of, but who didn't actually end up showing up for a dinner that um, they were hosting. So we got the good fortune of having leftovers. So that's fine. Now it looks like a lot of food and it is bulk wise, but look at the calories on this bag. Can you see that? Like they reckon there's four servings of vegetables in the packet. So I've just divided the packet in two, but even then, you know, that's only 40 calories of the vegetable plus the cabbage that I added. So that's under a hundred calories of vegetables on this plate. Um, husband's been for a run and so he'll, I've given him, um, a much larger bit of chicken and he'll also have some bread with his and he may have some dessert um maybe some fruit and custard or something um or just some fruit um and that's fine um yeah this will be this will be enough for me and yeah that's that's day one down of my rainbow eating plan